Just as many students find differentiation to be more intuitive than integration, integration of a polynomial in MATLAB requires more discussion. Although I have displayed here a definite integral, x equals 0 to 1 of x cubed minus x, first let's consider the indefinite integral of x cubed minus x. So our representation of x cubed minus x would be vector 1, 0, negative 1, 0. Don't forget the 0 on the end to account for the constant. Let's put that into MATLAB. So here we see that our integrand is 1, 0, negative 1, 0, as we said. We're going to use polyint, which without a second argument integrates once, to get the antiderivative, which in this case is x to the fourth over 4 minus 1 half x squared. To solve this as a definite integral, we need to evaluate the antiderivative at the limits of integration, at 0 and 1. So in this case, we get the antiderivative, x to the fourth over 4 minus x squared by 2, which we just saw. We're going to evaluate it at x equals 0 and x equals 1. So carrying this out by hand, we arrive at negative 1 fourth as our answer. In MATLAB terms, let's use polyint. So here we're going to use integrand with polyint. We're going to take polyval at point 1 as our the left-hand bound of our integral polyval of antiderivative at 0 as the right-hand bound of our integral, we're going to take that difference to solve our problem. In this case, our integral comes to negative 0.25, which accords with the problem that we just solved by hand. So it's a little bit more complicated because you have to keep in mind the same steps that you would solving this by hand. A related problem is to numerically integrate a set of points when the function is not known. We'll use trap z, or the trapezoidal rule, to solve this problem for us. This is probably the most straightforward numerical integration. It's similar to quadrature, or quad, which you may have seen in other contexts in SciPy. Here we generate our simulated data set, an x and y. We create a figure, we plot it, and then we use trap z to manually integrate these values. So our integral value comes to 0 0.97. There's a related function called integral, which integrates a known function between limits. That is, you know the function, but you don't want to go to the trouble of pre-calculating the value at the points. In this case, we use integral, we use the function with an at operator in front of it, and we give it the limits from 0 to pi. This at at the beginning makes the function what is known in MATLAB as a function handle. It's a way of talking about the function without using it, rather like the difference between the sign evaluated at certain points and the idea of a sine wave or the definition of a sine wave. We're going to see ats in a few cases. We'll discuss it in more detail in a subsequent lesson. So here the value of integral value for sine from 0 to pi comes out to be 